Hey guys, how are you? Alrighty. I, along with a few other YouTubers, was issued a challenge by none other than Miss Cindy Utter. And the challenge is in this envelope. I haven't, obviously, as you can see, haven't opened it yet. So let's get it open. I'm trying to save the envelope because if I don't use it in the challenge, I might want to use it in a future project that's interesting paper. So anyway. That being said, there is a photo. Interesting. And there's, she told me there were instructions taped to the back, which there are. So let's see. Is it taped or glued? Oh, it's kind of sticky dot taped. All right. So here's the photo on the front side. Really interesting. And I don't think it says who the artist is. I don't see it anywhere. If somebody knows, if you recognize the image, let me know. Welcome to the Arts Endeavors Video Hop. Okay, let me read this. I'll be right back.
Okay, so we are here in iMovie and I just wanted to show you really quick something I really like about iMovie, which is um, a easy way to create a video thumbnail if you're on YouTube. So I'm going to uh, move my video that I've created here. This is a video I just edited a few minutes ago for YouTube and you just want to move the bar here across until you have up here in the upper right preview screen an image that you want to save um, maybe as your thumbnail on YouTube. So say I want to save here this background where it says welcome to my adventures in art. Then I am going to stop the preview screen right there. I'm going to come up here to the top where it says file and then share and then image. I'm going to call it um, something This is um, I'm going to call it something else because I already have one with that name. So I'm going to call it welcome. And you can pick here a folder that you want it to go to. I have a folder for thumbnails, but you can pick any folder on your hard drive and then you just hit save. That's it. And when you upload the video, you automatically have a thumbnail that's the right size and everything. So. Okay guys, so here's our finished piece. Now when I pulled the picture out of the envelope, and in all fairness I got a glimpse of the picture before I got it in the mail, um, I was really attracted to not only the texture of the background, but this sort of um, abstracted nature of the face and the figure. That really intrigued me more than anything else. So I thought right away that I want to do something like that on a journal page or a canvas and as you saw in the speed through video initially I picked a different canvas but as soon as I had my little face pieces done I kind of knew that one wasn't going to work but I thought I might have one out in my stash of um, older canvases that kind of need more love, um, if you will, out in the garage, and I did. And so I used one of those. So I created my little pieces of face, my abstracted face features, out of scraps of watercolor paper. I used just a plain color pencil and my Daniel Smith um, and M. Graham muted palette, uh, watercolor palette. And I used acrylic craft am paint and Amsterdam acrylics for the background on top of the old canvas that was already there and I love that you can still see little bits of the old canvas through what is on there now. I used some golden extra heavy gel medium to attach the watercolor pieces once the background was mostly dry. I also sprayed the background before I put the pieces on and did the final um, painting and texturing um, with some Tattered Angels uh, mists. I used one called Stone, um, which I used up that one little bottle. I have actually another one, so don't panic, because um, I do like that color. And then I used this one, which is color Merlot Gold. And I love the way it turned out. So this is really cool. I'm gonna. It's not quite dry yet, but it is so cool. I really love it. All right, so that's one thing that you can do with something like this when you have an inspiration photo. Another thing that you can try that I don't know if it would work. Sometimes these um, pictures are sticky laminated and sometimes they're heat laminated. If they're heat laminated, you can actually pull the laminating pieces apart and get the print out of there. I think this is sticky laminated. So I think it's stuck in there for eternity. Let's pull a corner out and find out. Yep, sticky laminated, see? But it would be a really cool like planner cover or journal cover. And it's it's laminated, so you could do that with it. Alright, so who knows? I might do something else with it at some point for, for this. Blah, blah, blah. But for this challenge, we're done. And I hope it gives you some ideas of what you can do. I'm going to link all the other videos in the description below. So I hope you have some time and you go check them all out and you get inspired to create some art maybe from this picture all right that's it for today if you would like to please give me a thumbs up like share and subscribe if you want to join one of my facebook groups send me happy mail support my channel by shopping in my etsy shop any of those things are in the description below all the addresses and everything so you can um, check that out and the most important thing of course is to go out and have a great day do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.